Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. I'm all about inspiring you to get outside and get happy. And today, I am in a huge area of wild ramps or leeks here in the forest. I want to show you how to harvest them. And also, we're going to go back to the kitchen. We're going to dehydrate some. We're going to make some yummy stuff. Stay tuned. Now, you can identify ramps by... Um, their leaf. It's very, very much like a succulent. It's got a reddish looking stem. The best way to identify it is by smell. If you just simply tear off a piece or step in this, the, the pungent onion aroma is just so strong, you won't believe it. There's no mistaking this when you find it. And here is where I usually harvest my ramps. This forest floor is absolutely full of ramps. For as far as you can see, there are ramps to harvest, so good good spot to dig up my harvest. I like to use this little shovel right here. It's, it's great for digging these up. The thing to remember is, if you try to pull out ramps, you're gonna be disappointed. They just, they're gonna break off. So you've gotta dig down past the bulb and then gently coax them from the soil. Just loosen up the soil around and underneath the ramp and they go pretty deep so you've got to get get down underneath of them to get what you want get in there oh I smell that beautiful oniony garlicky smell that they're so well known for Here I've loosened some up. Then you can just take the soil and just kind of pull it apart. You got those beautiful, beautiful ramps. Good size too. What I'm gonna do is just harvest them, put them in my basket. What you want to be careful of is over harvesting. These are a very popular wild edible. They're only found in the spring and you're going to want to just take a small amount from a patch so that the patch can continue to grow and grow and get bigger and bigger and uh, be, be self-sustaining. So just make sure you don't take too much. As like anything else when you're foraging, you don't want to over harvest. You want to leave plenty so that it can keep propagating a harvest for years to come. All right, we've got a nice harvest, that's good. Now I'm gonna take them back to the kitchen, clean them up. Let's make some food, let's preserve them. I'll show you how to do it. This forest here is literally just a carpet of ramps. Everywhere you look is ramps. It's so cool. Okay, I'm back at my house and I'm just outside doing some initial cleaning and snipping just because these things are so dirty from the, the earth. So what I'm doing is just snipping off the roots and then the bulb part is going in my bowl. It just makes for a little easier cleanup initially outside. All right guys, so here I am. I've got the ramps all cleaned, all cut up. I got just the bulbs here. I'm gonna cut these up and we're going to get them in the dehydrator. I think what I'm gonna do mainly is just cut these in half and that should be good enough, hopefully. Then just place them on the tray. Okay, that's it. I got three trays. Now I let the dehydrator do its thing. It's probably gonna be a day at least before these are dry. This is not a fancy dehydrator. Really simple, there's no controls other than plug it in so it's really low heat. So we'll check it tomorrow. All right guys, now that I have my leeks 
in the dehydrator. I want to make a soup. I want to make chicken, bacon, potato, leek soup. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to do that in the crock pot. Let me show you how I'll do it. Okay, we have the first taste tester. It's fantastic. It's got a ton of flavor. It's salty. It's just, it's really, really good. I think it's the ramps. Homemade soup can either be, you know, really awesome or it can be, eh. This has like got a ton of flavor to it. Tons of flavor. It's got the mojo. It's what you want in a soup. Mm. So here's the finished soup. It's nice and creamy. Ooh, steaming it up too. Woo! Alright guys, it's the next day. It is time to check our dehydrated ramps. They are looking good. They are very crunchy which is exactly what you want. You definitely got to have all the moisture out of anything before you put it away. This is good. Oh, that is so pungent. That's perfect. What I'm gonna do now is just put it in this glass jar and put a lid on it. These are nice and crunchy. They dehydrated up really, really nicely here. They're just gonna store really well in this glass jar. Now to rehydrate these, all you gotta do is put them in a little dish of water and just let them soak up some water for a little bit and they'll be perfectly ready to use. You can also just crumble them, put them into some soup, something that already has liquid, you'll be good to go. So there it is, a whole jar of dehydrated ramps. Just gonna put a lid on it, keep it in a cool, dry place. It's ready to go. Now the other thing I've never tried, and I'm gonna to try to do it, is I'm gonna to try to dehydrate some of the leaves. See how that turns out? So we'll go ahead and give that a shot. Now I still have some leaves, and the other thing you can do is blend them up with some olive oil, and then put them in little ice cube trays and freeze it. And so you can have almost like a little ramp leaf pesto when you're ready. You can put it in soups to flavor some soups. You can use it in pasta. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna rip them up a little so they're a little easier for the blender to, to pulverize here. A food processor would probably work better 
but I don't have one, so we'll go with this method. All right, pack that down in there. Got some good olive oil. Just like that. Throw a little more oil in there. All right, what you're left with is a nice green, very green paste. That is going to be good for soups or pasta or anything else you can dream up. Takes a little bit to do it with a blender. You just got to kind of keep fussing with it, but uh, it does work. So go ahead. You can put that in a little baggie and freeze it. You can put it into ice cube trays and freeze it. You could even use a little mini muffin tins for this. But that right there is how you can preserve some of the leaves. Check this out. These dehydrated really, really good. So that that's a really good option too. Just dehydrate the leaves. Use this like um, any other dried spice. Pretty cool. Well guys, that's gonna do it for me. Hope you learned a lot about ramps. How to dig them, how to preserve them, and how to eat them. But you gotta eat them with a friend because the breath, it's pretty bad. See you guys in the next one. This is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy. Right? Let's go. Cool.